Why you wanna let me go? Nah, nah, now Are you saying that you change your mind? For love or pity, let me know Nah, nah, now Cause your love made me, made me go blind Hello everyone, what is up? And welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hi, my name is Katie. I live in Orlando. And yes, I do have a dog over my shoulder. I love to make home decor videos, seasonal decor. I love to shop around like Target, Walmart, Home Goods, TJ Maxx, Marshalls, World Market, Kirkland's, any stores that sell home decor. I love to show you what's new in store, tell you about any sales that are currently going on so you can be an informed shopper and know what to look for next time you go out shopping. I'm so excited about today's video. This video has been mm, like a month or and a half in the works. I'm so super excited. Today is my 2021 full fall and Halloween decor haul. And I hope you guys are excited because I am looking at the biggest pile of home decor I feel like I've ever seen. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you every item I will be using to decorate our apartment. I wanted to go over all the items in detail so that if there was any questions about where things were from or when I got them, you would have all the answers and you could refer back to this video because tomorrow's video is going to be my fall decorate with me. I really hope you are all so excited. I am thrilled for this video. I have been like just thinking and thinking about what I wanted our like fall vibe to be and it took me a really long time to figure it out but looking at everything I'm always worried that it's just not gonna come together but looking at everything I really think that it's gonna look so good and I'm so excited to share these videos with you and tell you everything I bought for fall decor so if you are interested in knowing everything I bought this year to decorate our apartment for fall then just keep watching because we're gonna go ahead and get into it before I get started I do want to mention that everything will be linked down below everything that I can link some stuff may be from like home goods or stores where I can't really link them but I'll try to link things that are similar down below so if you're looking for anything definitely check down below in the description box because you will probably find a link to the item so I did go ahead and kind of break up the items at first I wasn't sure if I wanted to do it by like store to make it easier or by like type of item and in the end I decided that it would probably be best for me to show you by like type of item that way it's a little bit more cohesive and then I will have everything linked down below by the store so you will have to go specifically to that store so it'll say like Kirkland's with all the links at home with all the links all the stores and things like that so that's how I'm gonna link them down below but I am going to be showing you everything in categories so we're gonna have categories like fall floral home accents um, pillows throws linens outdoor items because I am doing fall on the inside of our apartment and like crazy blatant Halloween at our front door on the outside of our apartment. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. We are gonna start the outside in. So we're gonna start with the outdoor Halloween items and then we will move into the fall items. A few of the Halloween items are not from this year, but I will try to find links to things that are similar down below. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, so the first item we're gonna start off with is the welcome mat that I chose. So this is the welcome mat. It just says happy Halloween. It's so hard to like show me and the welcome mat. But it says happy Halloween with little like ghosts and pumpkin jack-o'-lantern faces all over it. This is from the at home store and it was $12.99. I went back to at home specifically for this welcome mat because I didn't ever find like a blatant Halloween one that I liked as much as this one and it was such a great price so this is the one that I picked. Next up is the item I am most excited about. I feel like I've been planning this for over a year. Well because I bought this tree a year ago on clearance and this is a black Halloween tree. So it is a little black Christmas tree. It is three feet and I got it on clearance last year for I think like $10. It was right after Halloween. This is also from the at home store. Such a great place to go for Halloween decor. If you haven't seen what they have yet this year, I actually did a video there and I will have it linked down for you below in the description. But I got a black tree and I am so excited about it. To go on the black tree from the at home store as well, I did buy the these orange lights so it's just a little set of mini lights it was $2.99 for 70 lights and I feel like this will be so perfect for my Halloween tree also to go on my Halloween tree I got this set of ornaments from at home a lot they have great Halloween stuff I mean what can I say and they just have it categorized so well 
I feel like a lot of the stuff moving forward, most of it is not from at home. So I think a lot of the stuff I got like just for like Halloween decor specifically just happens to be from at home. But I got these Halloween colored shatterproof ornaments. You get 25 ornaments and they come in like matte black, white, orange, orange glitter. So there's like a great variety in here and I just thought it would look so perfect on the tree. I just am so excited. I will say though, it didn't come with the little hooks, which is not the greatest because those are really hard to find when it's not Christmas time, but I'm just gonna like dig through my old Christmas decor. I'm sure I have like a million of them somewhere, so I'll get my hands on some, but that's just one thing that I want you guys to know is that it doesn't come with the hooks. So unfortunately, I wasn't able to find a wreath that I loved. I wanted to do like a jack-o'-lantern wreath. The one that I wanted from the at-home store was sold out when I went back to get it. So I was like, okay, Katie, think, think, think. What's the next best thing? Like a 70 pack of 3D bats and spiders from Amazon, I think. So I got these from Amazon. They were $7.99 for 84 pieces. I will go ahead and link it down below for you. But yeah, they're like self-adhesive. They come with the sticky stuff already. And they're just these 3D little bats and I just figured I could put them like all over the door and stuff. There is a wreath I want from the new Hide and Eek collection that is going to be coming to Target for Halloween. It's not out yet, so I wasn't able to get it for this specific video because I'm decorating for Halloween very early. But you can expect that I will be adding this wreath to my front door the second I can get my hands on it. The last two items I have for our front door are items that I actually got a couple years ago, but you can definitely find similar stuff out at like HomeGoods and TJ Maxx still. So the first one is this pumpkin that says welcome. It's just a black little pumpkin that has spider webs and little spiders on it. And it's just such a great size. And I almost gave this away, but then I decided it's small enough where I can use it to decorate the front of our door and it just says welcome. So it's perfect for a front door. Just to give you an idea of pricing, this was $7.99 and I purchased it from Home Goods probably like two years ago. The last item that's going at our front door is this super heavy pumpkin. This is like my pumpkin girl. Look at her lashes. I mean, we're just twinning over here. But I got this several years ago at Home Goods. I love it. It's so nice if you put like a pillar candle in it and you can get that little like fake candle flicker vibe going. I just love this pumpkin. I love that it's like feminine and she has her lashes. And I don't know, I just feel like if I was a jack lantern like this would be me between the lashes and the big smile I just felt like it was just relatable this unfortunately does not have a price sticker on it anymore but I probably got it for around $40 from home goods I think two or three years ago I love it the next category is going to be pillows and throw blankets so like textile linens I guess this is probably the category I am most proud of simply because I shopped so many sales and clearance to curate our like couch decor for this year. If you watch my shop with me videos, you will have seen that a lot of the summer collections that they had this year were very like reddish, orangey, neutral color palettes, which worked in my favor because knowing that information when I went to go shop for fall decor, I knew where to go to get fall colored items at a summer clearance price and that really came into play here in the pillow and blanket selection that I was able to get. So we're gonna go over everything. I'm gonna do blankets first because I have two blankets and I got them both on clearance. I'm very, very proud of my clearance finds. It helped me save a lot of money because decorating is like not cheap. And we moved into a new apartment and I knew that I wanted to do like a lot more fall decor or fall decorating than I had done in the past. So I kind of had to start from scratch. So curating a collection of items at a discounted price was pretty pivotal for me to be able to stay like on a budget and not go crazy, which is super easy to do when you have my job where you look at home decor all the time. But anyways, the first item I picked up was this fall blanket. This is from Kirkland's. It's the Baldwin Sherpa plaid. It is just the most perfect like orangey ivory plaid-ish color because it is Sherpa. Like it's hard to tell that there's like a really, really heavy pattern on it. I got this blanket in the clearance section at Kirkland's for $10.97. I'm so proud of this. This is a blanket that I'm planning to use in a blanket basket, more of just decor, but it is 
very, very, very soft and warm. So if I ever get super cold, this is a blanket I'd want to reach for as well. So this is the first blanket that I got and I got it for $10.97 from Kirkland's on Clarence. The other blanket that I got to decorate was this blanket right here. This is from Joann's. It was the Place and Time Summer Living Collection. This was on clearance. This was 70% off. I got this blanket for like $7. So that's pretty crazy. It was originally $40 and I think I got it for either $7 or $11. Don't come for me. <laughs> Math is not my strong suit. That's why I'm a YouTuber. But I went shopping there to check out their fall and Halloween decor and just their summer stuff was so beautiful. I saw this blanket and immediately knew that it would work perfect for fall as well as moving into like winter Christmas decor. It's just a really pretty like burnt red color, like a literal brick red color. And I love it. It has a very subtle pattern. It's a very thin blanket, so it'll be perfect for throwing over the couch or over an accent chair. I'm really, really excited about this find. Moving into throw pillows. The first two are from the Target dollar spot this year. I am so, so, so excited to have found these in time to do this video. I mean, I go to Target like five or six times a week, multiple Targets a week as well, sometimes multiple Targets a day. So I'm really, really excited that I found these. It really just feels like my hard work paid off. So the first one is this one that says Farm Fresh Pumpkins. I love this one because I love the different colors. It coordinates really well with my other pillows. And then I liked the font. It reminded me a lot of the Friends logo. I'm a huge Friends fan, so when I saw this, I immediately thought of the Friends logo when I saw that font. The other one is also from the Target Dollar Spot. It says Hello Fall in this pretty cursive and then has orangey stripes on the back. This one has a navy stripe on the back, so that's what's on the back of these. These are so cute and such a great price. If you are interested in these, you can find these at the Target Dollar Spot, probably right now in your store for $5 a piece. I just think these are the greatest. The next pillow is from Kirkland's. So it's just this really pretty salmon, like terracotta color. Then it has this little ruffle all around the side. I really like it. I like the texture of it. It's like a nice linen-y type texture. It feels very, very durable. Important to note that the cover does not come off of this, so I broke my own rule of only buying pillows that the cover comes off, but for good reason. This pillow was part of the Joann's Summer Collection, just like the blanket, and I got these pillows, I got two of them, for $7 a piece. You just can't beat that, so I was willing to break my own rule. If they only last one season, then at least I know that I got good use out of them for what I paid for them, but because they're not white, I feel like they will hold up a lot better, and at the end of the season, I probably will be willing to throw them in the washer and dryer and see how they come out on the other side, but I got two of these pillows for $7 a piece at Joann Fabrics from their summer line on clearance. Up next, we have these pillows from World Market. So I did get two of these. These are from their like always a deal pillows. They have so many different colors and they're just these really, really plain velvety pillows and they come in literally a million colors. These are $10 a piece. I did get two of them and I just think they're gonna look so, so pretty on the couch. I love the color. They're just like a very, very deep rust color and I just think they're super pretty. So I'm really excited to put them on the couch. The last pillow that I got is kind of like the one that I was like, it's gonna tie it all together. Chef's kiss, this is the one. I got it from Kirkland's. I really like it. I found one very similar to it at Home Goods, and I almost got that one, but that one had like green tones in it, and I didn't really want that, so I decided to go to Kirkland's and get this one. I love the little tassels on the corners. I like that it has like yellows and just different shades of red. It's really gonna pull all the different colors of pillows together. This pillow was $35, but I did get 20% off, so I think it ended up being like $27. So definitely on the pricier side I will say that the cover does come off so I feel like that helps to no, I can't even say it helps justify it this is the most expensive pillow that I got but I really like it and I feel like it ties all the other pillows that I got together so that is it for like throw pillows throw blankets linens that sort of thing moving into the next category I have to say maybe it's the biggest by far home accents is like decently sized as well but I went crazy with fall florals. I just couldn't stop. I was like, oh, a stem here, a stem there, some from Ikea, some from Home Goods, some from Kirkland's, and some from at home. And it's turned into a literal forest at my feet. So let's go over all the fall florals that I got. I just have like a lot of fake plants and a lot of like vases or vases that have stems in them. So 
that's how I'm gonna justify everything I'm about to show you. So this is not all of it, but this is our starting point. I'm just gonna put these all in my lap, kind of show you them quickly one by one and tell you where I got them from. You're definitely gonna see a lot of like colored eucalyptus. I, I just was very drawn to it this year. So the first one is this one. It is from the at home store. It was $6.99. It's just this really pretty like burgundy color eucalyptus and I just love it. And I feel like it's gonna look very, very pretty in all the different jars that I have. Another color eucalyptus that I got from the at home store was this orange one. Is it not so pretty? Oh my gosh, I just loved this one as well. $6.99 a piece for each of these stems. If you sign up for the at-home reward program, you do get coupons and stuff, so I highly recommend that. It's not like a credit card or anything. It's just a little membership program, but I really loved these, so I picked up two of these as well. To kind of bridge those two colors together, I did pick up four of these stems from Ikea. So this is all four of them. They are a lot smaller than the ones from the at-home store. These ones do have some green mixed in, but you'll also see the pinkish color as well as some orangey tones mixed in. So I just felt like it would be a good way to bridge together and be able to use some of the greens that I already have in my pots from the spring and summer. This green would help bridge all the fall colors together and I could still use some of the other greens that I already have to help fill out all my bouquets. The next stem I must have grabbed as just a one-off and it is this one right here. I'm gonna try Try to show you a close up. It is from the Hearth and Hand line, and it's just this super pretty little like flower. I don't know. I just wanted to kind of. I was like, I need to buy something other than eucalyptus, so I picked up this one. This must have been the only one that they had. It was $3.99, and I think it will look good. Again, it does have the fall tones, but it still has the green, so it'll help me bridge everything together. The next one is more of like almost an arrangement type deal. So this is from IKEA. I do believe that this was like six to ten dollars like i said everything will be linked down below let me show you a close-up of this one as well so it has a lot of different textures a lot of different fall colors and i just liked it i thought that it would be pretty and you can break it up it's all like um wound together at the bottom so i can break it up into different pots if i want to or different bases but i just liked all the variety that it had in it so i picked one up next up we have a bouquet of pumpkins little white pumpkins these are from home goods this bouquet was $7.99 and you do get eight little pumpkins i have a like big wicker basket that has pompous grass in it and i wanted to find items like this and potentially some of the other stems that i just showed you to be able to break up the pompous grass and put a little bit of like fall flair into it so i picked up this bouquet of pumpkins for my home goods for $7.99 this is an entire bag of smaller stems so all of these are from Joann's I have a lot of like bud vases around our house I also wanted to make smaller floral arrangements and I just needed more stuff to fill out all the vases we have so many fake florals all around our apartment so you can add stems in like this to floral arrangements that you already have and make them a lot more like fall friendly that's what I was trying to do. I was just trying to like kind of work with what we already had, but still adding these fall elements, basically to save money. So I'm really excited to see how it all comes together. Like seeing it all in a big pile, just like it looks so pretty. But anyways, so I got this one from Joann's. It is this like rubbery, I don't exactly like know what type of flower this is. So don't crucify me for not knowing all the names, but this is from their Bloom Room Fall Picks and this was $1.99, but all of the stems were 40% off. I'm just gonna kind of like pick them out of the bag and show them to you individually. So I did also get some flowers, again, trying to not only do eucalyptus. So I got this really pretty ivory colored flower and this one was $2.99, but then 40% off. They are all 40% off. I won't say that for all of them. Everything I'm about to show you was 40% off. I got some rust colored flowers so I got these these are super pretty I just got a couple of each and all these were $2.99 similar to that ivory flower I got these ivory leaves so just a bunch of these little ivory leaves this all came together as one stem and this was $2.99 I did grab three of the next one so I guess I really liked it in the store which I still do so this is what it looks like it just has different leaves some green some little like spurty firework looking things down here I did get three of these these were all $2.99 a piece so in the store I actually had a vase in my cart and I was kind of just shoving stuff into this vase until I feel like it looked full enough so that's what a lot of these are gonna be for a vase that I'm going to show you when we go into home accents 
So a couple more of the first stem that I showed you and then I did get this one that is a flower that also has some fall leaves around it. I feel like this is the first appearance of fall leaves besides for the pillow so that's exciting. So I picked up this one with a red center and then this one with an orange center. Those are so so pretty and those are $1.99 a piece. And then the last one for $1.99 was this one that just has some green leaves and then almost like this pompous grass looking stem coming off of it. The last item I'm going to show you for fall florals is actually an item that I picked up last year from Hobby Lobby on clearance. I do think that they have the same garland again this year. It was very expensive full price. I was super fortunate to find it 90% off fall clearance and I saved it for this year and it is this beautiful garland right here. So it has a lot of green tones in it, which is why I wanted to get a lot of other florals that I could kind of like make this garland still work. I suppose I could like paint some of the pumpkins or add orange elements into it with some of the stems. I can stick some of the stems into the garland, so I might consider doing that. But it just has a lot of like really pretty like pine cones and pumpkins and it's just this like really pretty sage green color. And I don't know, I just really, really love this. It was $80, but I got it for 90% off fall clearance, so I literally got this for $8 last year, which is very, very, very exciting. I remember going into the store thinking like, there's no way they're gonna have anything left, and they honestly really didn't have anything left, but they did have this garland, so I snagged it as fast as I could. So the last and final category, and the one I am most excited to show you is home accents. There's so much really, really cute stuff out there. I feel like I kind of started with home accents and then once I started like getting the florals, then I kind of figured out what my fall style was going to be and then I picked out blankets and pillows and it all kind of brought us to where we are now. And I'm just so excited to decorate and show you guys everything. But let's start off with home accents. So I'm gonna start off with the two that are in my lap. Woven pumpkins, they are the thing this year. We saw them everywhere if you watch my videos. You will have seen them at almost every single store that I shopped at had some version of a woven pumpkin. I got one of each size that they had from the at home store. This one was $4.99 and then the bigger one is $7.99. I just liked how it was like taller and thinner. It's a bit easier to decorate with because I like to have varying heights just to give my space more like visual interest. So I did pick up one each of these. I feel like they were a great price, $7.99 and $4.99 for really good quality, great size pumpkins. That's a great deal to me. Sticking with the at home store, the next item I got was this little pumpkin. So this pumpkin is white with gold speckles and then it does have a gold stem. I just really like this pumpkin. I like that it was pretty simple but still glitzy. I was trying to add like a little bit of gold accents into my decor, not anything too crazy. I really liked this pumpkin and it was $5.99 from the at home store. I believe the last item I got from the at home store was this acorn. Woo, I was in love when I saw this acorn. I love the color of it. I've seen this a lot at the stores. It's like this like deep chocolatey bronzy color. It's so pretty. I thought that it would look so nice. I just feel like it looks expensive. It was $5.99 from the at-home store. So I love this, super excited to see what I end up doing with it. This category I'm kind of doing by store, so the next store we're gonna do is Home Goods. I actually really didn't get that many things from Home Goods this year. So I picked up this bag of pumpkins. It's kind of like a vase filler, but they are these little woven pumpkins. I thought they were super unique. I really liked them, so I decided to snag this bag for $7.99. And then similarly to those, I got this other thing of base filler from there. It's just these little white pumpkins, and they kind of match the pumpkins that are on the sticks that I showed you in the floral section. So I decided to pick up these as well. I have a lot of like bowls and vases and I just figured it'd be really cute to fill it with these. I can mix them or just do like full of this or all of that. And this was also only $7.99. They had so many to choose from at Home Goods. So if like the neutral is not your vibe, they definitely have tons of other options. So the last item I got from Home Goods was this candle. I just got this little pumpkin spice candle. It's honestly more for decor. So probably not really gonna end up burning it. I might end up burning it for the video, but it's really more for decor. This was $6.99 and it is the Harvest Candle Craft Co. Just says that it's pumpkin spice. The scent checks out. 
it is pumpkin spice. Next, I'm gonna show you all the home accents that I picked up from Joann's. So what I'm about to show you is actually mostly summer clearance items. Definitely go check your Joann's stores. They had so many pretty little vases and home accents that are gonna be perfect for the fall like this one. This one, it kind of feels like terracotta, so I'm a little bit skeeved out by it, if you know, you know. But it's just this like textured vase that is ribbed, but then also has this like really pretty concrete texture. This was originally $24.99, but I got it for 70% off, so I think I got it for like $5. I, I should learn how to do math. Hey Siri, what is 70% off of $25? The answer is 7.50 US dollars. I got it for $7.50. <laughs> Thanks, Siri. <laughs> With that base, I plan on putting like the filler and stuff from Home Goods that I just showed you. So that's kind of my plan for that. The next one is this little red vase, also from the summer collection, almost perfectly matches the blanket that I got from the summer collection. I just wanted to do like all different tones of like reds and oranges, colors like that for the fall. And I just think that it's gonna look super good. So I got this. This was $25, so I also got this for $7 because it was 70% off all the little stems I showed you this was the vase that I was shoving them into and it looked so good I also grabbed this towel from Joanne so this towel is just ivory and then has these like orangey rust colored pumpkins on it it's super pretty it was $9.99 and then all of the fall stuff was 30% off so I got it for seven bucks seven was the theme of the day <laughs> at Joanne's I guess but I really liked it I liked how it had the fall colors but it was still pretty simple and it just had little pumpkins so I decided to pick this one up the last two items I picked up from Joann's were M&M's. <laughs> they were the only store that had Halloween candy out yet. I looked everywhere, trust me. So I went back to Joann's and paid for the overpriced M&M's. These bags are pretty small, probably like half the size of like the seasonal bags that we'll end up finding at Target. But they were in flavors I had never tried before and they were in Halloween colors. So I just couldn't say no. This one is in Cookies and Scream and then this one is Creepy Cocoa Crisp. So. I know that they'll look cute in some of the other stuff I'm about to show you, little like candy jars and stuff. And to me, nothing says seasonal decor like colored M&Ms. <laughs> it's probably just me. I also am gonna get candy corn probably, but I got these for now. Next on board, we have home accents from Target. So one thing I picked up was this vase from the new Hearth and Hand line. I just love it so much. I love the look of the vase, just like the textured stone, and then these little purple flowers. So I could not say no, this was $10, and I feel like this is something I'll honestly use all year round, like moving forward, not just for fall decor. So I had to go ahead and pick this up. It also does come in a smaller version for $5. Two more Target dollar spot items I picked up for my fall decorate with me are this new wooden tray. So pretty, I love this. For $5, I just feel like it's such a good wooden tray, super easy to layer and just add like cozy feel. So I picked up this, and then I also picked up this little pitcher. This is perfect to put stems in, perfect for any time of the year as well, not even just for fall. I love like the speckled, taupey specks that it has. I really like this, and this was also $5. I headed back to Kirkland's to pick up another fall candle. Their candles are amazing. Like, does this, if I showed you this, wouldn't you think it was from Bath and Body Works? This is from Kirkland's and it's $10. Coupons apply, so you can get like 20% off coupons. You can even order them online and pick them up in the store and like stack coupons and get these for a really, really, really good deal. They are three wick candles, just like Bath and Body Works. They smell amazing, so I'm super pumped about these, and it will just look really cute, but I probably will end up burning this one because it smells so good. The next item, I don't know, I might spray paint these. So these are just like little pumpkins and they're in this like bluey sage-ish color. To be honest with you, I don't really know why I bought these. These are kind of weird. They're from Ikea. It's just like a little, like two little gourds and a pumpkin in this like sagey blue color. I might find somewhere absolutely perfect to use these, but I don't really have a plan for these as of right now. All the next items I'm about to show you are things that I bought in years past, but I wanted to be able to give you the information before I decorate so I can answer any questions. I did get two of these pumpkins. I got the small size and the big size. These are actually threshold items from Target that I got on clearance at the end of the season last year. So I did get the smaller one for $5.60. This is gonna be a perfect candy jar. It's still taped shut, but when it opens up, it'll be the perfect little candy jar. So that's why I wanted to get M&Ms. I really, really love this. I love the color and I'm really glad I picked it up. I do think that this was meant to be like for a table setting. I think that's like what they had it out for, but to me, 
candy dish. I got this one for $6 and then I got the big one for $10. Again, it does open up. You could put like a variety of different things. You could use this as a cookie jar for the fall or you could use it for Thanksgiving and put like mashed potatoes inside. The world is your pumpkin oyster with this item and I'm excited to see how I use it. I picked it up last year so I was really happy to find it in my totes when I opened them up this year because it was kind of like a surprise. I was like seeing everything all over again. So I was really excited to find these. And then some like miscellaneous items I'm not sure if I know where they're all from. I have this little like ivory squishy pumpkin that I found in my totes from last year that I'm gonna use to decorate. Then I also have this other like openable canister type pumpkin jar. I do think that this, yeah, this is from TJ Maxx. This was $5.99, another really, really great candy jar. I'll probably put one bag of M&Ms into each of the things I just showed you, but this is really cute and $5.99 from TJ Maxx, probably last year or the year before, but it's just a great idea of what you can find at the stores this year because trust me, they don't really change it up that much. Another pumpkin that I got at Home Goods in the last few years was this one. It has some gray stripes and then the gold on the bottom. I was really happy to find this in my totes from a few years ago because it perfectly matches what I want to do with like some gold tones. Not exactly sure what I'm going to do with it yet, but you will see tomorrow when I figure it out. And then the last item is this three stack pumpkin. It does not have a price tag on it, but I'm going to guess that it was from Home Goods. It does light up. I don't know if you can even tell on camera, but it does light up. Let me put it closer. Yeah, so you can see just a little three stack pumpkin, orange pumpkins. I could easily spray paint this another color, like gold would be really pretty. If I don't wanna keep it orange, I'm not exactly sure what I'm gonna do with it yet but I'm really excited that it still lights up. So that is the last item that I'm gonna be using to decorate our apartment for the fall. <sighs> what a journey. So that was everything. If you made it this far, please put a pumpkin down in the comments below. That will be like the little symbol that you made it to the end of the video. I hope that you guys loved everything. If you have any questions about anything, please leave them down below in the comments. I hope that you are all so excited for my fall decorate with me video tomorrow and I just can't wait to see it all come together and I hope that you all love it. If you haven't yet, please make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and make sure you hit the subscribe button down below so you don't miss my fall decorate with me video. But pretty much that is gonna be it for me and I will see you next time. Bye guys. I'm tired.